welcome back to this new video tutorial in Microsoft Excel. In this video, I am going to demonstrate our inventory management template in Microsoft Excel. This is a tracker of inventory or stock in, out and balance. First of all, I will explain the user interface of the system. After that, I will explain the operational guideline of this template. And at the end of the video, I will provide you the link to download this template which you can use in your business or work. Currently, I am here in this inventory management sheet and here I have a button to initialize the system. By clicking on this button, I can open the inventory management template. So let me click here in this button. Now here you see this is the stock in out balance tracker and management software. First of all, let's understand the user interface. At the top, the title of this software is written that is stuck in out balance tracker and management software. Here you can see a item master button. By clicking on this item master, you can add the new item in the system. Currently, I have only four item added. If I have to add a new item or product, I have to go to this item master. This save WB means saving the workbook. When you add some more record here, then you have to click on this save workbook button to save the file. Here in the right section, you can see the date selection pane. By using this calendar control, you can choose different dates. And based on the from date and to date selected here, other information will update accordingly. When you select a different date here, you have to click on this refresh button, then the data will be updated. Now here in these boxes, you can see the aggregation of purchase value, sales value, stock value, stock unit and GP value. GP means the gross profit value. These values will automatically update as you enter the new records here. And when you select different date range, the purchase, sales and gross profit will automatically change. But this stock value and stock unit does not have any relation with the from and to date because this is the closing balance which is always from the last date or the current date. Now here in this transaction section you can enter the detail of the stock in or purchase and the stock out or sales. By clicking on this calendar control you can choose the date of transaction. Here in the item name, you have to select from different item or product. In the quantity, you have to put the value manually. In the transaction type, you have to select either stock in or stock out. This price will be automatically updated when you choose the item name and transaction type. After filling all these input box, click on the add button. Then the record will be added in the system. If you do some mistake in the entry, then you can double click on the entry, then correct the entry, then click on the update button, then the entry will be updated. If you missed to input the value in any of these input box, then while adding or updating the record, it will give you a error message so that you can put the value in the missed input box, then add it. Now here in the so details section, you can choose all transaction, stock in transaction or stock out transaction. If you click on stock in, then only the detail of the purchase will be given. If you click on stock out, only the detail of the sales will be given. If you click on all, all the transaction detail will be given here. By clicking on this export to Excel, you can export or extract this data to a new Excel file. Similarly, here in another section, you can see the closing stock information. Here I have only four products right now. The balance stock is given here and this balance stock will dynamically update when you add the in and out details here. If you have too many items here in the closing stock, then here by using this box, you can search any item here. And by using this export to Excel button, you can export the detail of the closing stock in a new Excel workbook. Like if I click here, you can see the detail of the stock is exported here in the new sheet. 
so this is all about the user interface part now let's understand how to operate this template so let me close this and open a new blank template which i have here in my desktop so i'll open this and first of all to initialize the system click on this button now this is a completely blank system where i don't have any information yet i have only the system so first of all i need to add the item details in the item master so click on this item master button this will open the item master data window here you have to enter the detail of the product or items so let me add here the first item that is for example television then here i am giving some model number of the television just for example now here in the pppu we have to input the purchase price per unit for example the purchase price per unit of the television is 24500 in the spppu we have to put the selling price per unit suppose that it is 26500 now click on the add button it says item successfully added to the item master click on ok and here you see the item is added here to add another product follow the same method suppose that while entering this detail you did a mistake here in this case you can double click on this then here you can correct the entry suppose that if the purchase price per unit should be 2100 in this case you can correct it here then click on the update button then click on ok and here you see the record is updated now let me add here some more items so in this way you can add the items here in the item master data and if you enter a duplicate item here for example fan f05 this is a duplicate item now if you click on the add button here you see the duplicate item found error message is given so here you cannot enter the duplicate because every item should be unique here in the item master data let me change this here and make it a different model that is f900 for example then when i click on add now the item gets added here so here in the item master data every item should be unique now after adding the items here in the item master data you can close this window from here as soon as you close the window here in the closing stock you can see all the items are added and the balance stock is given as zero because we haven't made any transaction here yet when we input the detail of the purchase then here you will see the balance stock so here let's add some transaction here in the date click on the calendar icon this will open this calendar and the current date is selected here that is 23rd of may here you can enter the transaction in back date also suppose that if you want to enter the transaction for 15th of may then click on 15 the date will be added here in the item name i am going to choose this television quantity i am taking 24 unit in the transaction type i will select stock in the price is automatically given here when you click on the add button data has been added click on ok and here the data is not visible because in the date selection the current date is given which is 23rd of may but here we did a transaction in previous date so here in the date selection we have to take the older date let's say first of may now it will show the detail here from first of may to current date after selecting the date here click on this refresh button then the detail will be shown here and also the balance stock is updated here 
this 24 unit purchase quantity is now given here in the balance stock similarly let me add here some more record of purchase after adding some detail of the purchase here here you can see the purchase value is automatically updated currently the sales value is given as zero because i haven't made any sales transaction here the stock value is also updated the balance stock is given here the stock unit total is 98 unit gross profit is given as zero because i don't have any sales record here now let me add a sales record so here in the date i'll choose this 23rd of may item name i'm going to take television quantity is suppose that three unit transaction type i'll select stock out which is the sales the selling price is auto updated here now click on the add button and here you see the sales transaction is updated here and here the sales value is also updated and the profit is also updated this is the gross profit given by the sales minus purchase and here after i updated three unit sales the balance stock of the television is now given as 21 we purchased 24 unit three unit is sold so the remaining is 21 unit here now let me add here some more record of the sales so as you keep on adding the detail of the stock in and out the balance is automatically calculated and all the purchase sales stock and gross profit value is automatically updated and after you enter the record here if you found that there is a mistake in the entry then you can correct the mistake by double clicking on the entry suppose that the quantity sold of laptop pc here should be four unit in this case you can double click on this then here you can correct this entry click on the quantity then make it four then you have to click on this update button so click on update then here you see data has been updated and here the four unit is given if you want to see the record here for a different date range then you have to set up the date range here first for example if you want to see the record here from 20 may to 23rd may then here you have to select the date that is 20 may 2024 to 23rd may then when you click on this refresh button here you see the data is given for this selected date range and here if you want to see the detail of the stock in or purchase only you can click on this stock in then the detail of the purchase only will be given if you want to see the detail of the sales or stock out only click on this stock out this is the detail for stock out only if you want to see the all transaction click on the all button then you will get all the transaction if you want to export this transaction in a new excel worksheet simply click on this export to excel button then your data will be exported here in a new sheet similarly if you want to export the detail of the inventory or closing stock you can click on this export excel button then the detail of the stock will be exported here in the sheet if you want to find a particular item for example laptop here in the box you can search it then click on show button and here you see the detail of the laptop only is given to show all item simply remove this search criteria from the box then click on show then you will see everything after you update the records here you have to click on this save workbook button when you click on this here you see workbook has been saved click on ok now the data is saved in your excel workbook if this inventory management software is useful for you you can download this software from the link that is given in the screen or you can also go to the video description below and download so this is all about the user interface and the operation guideline of this system thank you very much for watching this we will again meet on next video tutorial.